Here we have the Pink Princess Philodendron, which in the summer of 2022 is starting to go down in price, which if you know, you know, just a few short years ago, even a one leaf cutting was going for a couple hundred dollars. So it's nice to be able to see this beautiful plant become more accessible. I will say starting out that if you're already comfortable growing Philodendron, you're gonna be successful with this one as well. Just because at this point is a, a exotic looking and more expensive plant does not mean that it's harder to care for. But let's get into the care instructions for this guy. We're gonna start off with bright light. That is the most important aspect of houseplant care. So you wanna make sure that the plant is getting a nice wide view of the sky. My favorite is an east, west, or a south facing window. Although it's important to note that if it is a very hot window, typically from south or west facing windows, let's back it up a couple of feet so that it doesn't burn. As far as watering goes, we're gonna water it when it's 25% dry during the spring and summer months. And then during the dormancy season, which is fall through the winter months, we're gonna let it dry out closer to 50% in between watering. It's important to note that regardless of the season that we're in, spring, summer, fall, winter, we're going to saturate the soil 100% every single time we water. You never want to water with just a cup of water here or there. A full saturation every time the plant is ready to be watered is key to a healthy root system. Repotting should be done every two years or when those roots are coming out of the bottom drainage holes. I like to use one part houseplant soil mixed with one part orchid bark mixed with one part perlite. This gives a nice chunky airy mixture that's going to provide moisture to the roots but also let them be airy as they would be in nature. For fertilizing, I like to use a liquid soluble or a granule fertilizer, something that's well balanced, something like a 15-15-15 or a 20-20-20, but only use it throughout the growing season, which again is spring through summer months. If we fertilize too far into the winter months while the plant is dormant, it's not able to use those nutrients and you risk burning the leaves. Now, one of the biggest draws to this plant is of course the pink parts of the plant. It's important to note that large pieces of pink are eventually going to turn brown as they don't have chlorophyll and they can't sustain themselves. And if you have a leaf that is entirely pink, take a picture and then cut it off. It does not serve the plant at all. It only takes nutrients away from the plant and you risk having an all pink plant, which will eventually kill itself. Now I do like to give these plants a moss pole. They are aeroids, they are epiphytes, they do like to climb upwards and it'll be much better for the long-term health of your plant. So providing it something to climb like a trellis or a moss pole will be really great for the long-term success of your plant. But that's gonna do it for the care instructions for the Pink Princess Philodendron. If you have any questions about this beautiful plant, let me know in the comments below.